to yet another session on talent management and in today's session we are going to see about career and succession, succession planning. I am Resham and uh, I am a faculty at Greater Noida, Noida Institute of Engineering and Technology in the MBA department and let us quickly see on what are the topics that we are going to cover today. So, we are going to talk about career planning its meaning and its definition. We are going to see the process in career planning. We are going to see succession planning and what is its meaning and definition and what is the process and we will also see what is the difference between career and succession planning and how is it going to affect talent management. So, let us start the session today with the meaning of career planning. So, uh, when we talk about this word career we generally mean by the sequence of jobs that constitute for a person's development or what he takes up for his living. So, the most important career which an individual selects is the major constitute that is going to help him earn his livelihood. So, career planning is According to, uh, according to Hunt, career planning is a process of systematically matching career goals and individuals capacities with the opportunities for their fulfillment. So, when we talk about career planning, we mean that he is going to initiate, he or she is going to initiate a process by which he will or she will identify what are the individual capabilities and identify what are the various opportunities that can be used to fulfill and gain a career. So, the goals of an individual depends on what are their capabilities. So, how are we going to understand the career planning? So, it is a set of processes that are involved in order to identify an individual's skill sets and what is that he wants to achieve out of those and what is the strategy he or she is going to adopt in order to explore, select and chase the life goals in order to gain satisfaction with the career. So, that is mainly career planning and also elementary steps of a career management process in which an individual determines the type of career an individual wants to pursue and what are the ways to choose or what are the steps to be taken in order to reach these career goals. So, the entire process eval involves evaluating one's interest and abilities, identifying alternative careers opportunities and setting a career goal and planning of developing these activities. So, ultimately the entire process of career planning involves three major stages. The first stage is self assessment. The most important thing is that a uh, career is a lifelong uh, process in which he or she is going to make a livelihood. So, it should be evolved and it should revolve around their interest areas. The first and foremost stage is to identify what is the interest of an individual and what is his personality, whether the interest and the personality has got those special features that is required for a career or what is that an individual wants to persuade in order to achieve the goal and it also helps to identify the skills and the strengths that an individual has. When we talk about skills, these can be any kind of skills related to creativity, related, related to reasoning, analytical skills or any skills that is required to persuade a particular career and what are the strengths that an individual has. Now, these strengths are going to 
help him to persuade his dream of achieving a particular career. So, these strengths are going to give the positive approach towards taking up the particular skill as a career and have a lifestyle of their own. Now, what are the work that is evolved related to these skill, skill sets? What are the job opportunities and what is the individual's values that are there in him that is what decides on his self assessment. So, a self assessment is run through by an individual. Now, this self assessment can happen in a systematic manner and there are various support systems that are available in order to make a self assessment of an individual. Now, there are different types of tests that are conducted in order to identify the personality type like we have the MBTI test, DISC profiling. These are various types of personality tests that helps to identify the traits of an individual and based upon these traits which are the careers that are suitable for an individual. And interest is again there are various ways in which an individual can identify his interest because when we talk about interest that is when an involvement is there from an individual and he or she does not get worn out even after pursuing that interest area for a longer duration. Because if an individual lose interest at a particular point of time, he or she may not be able to persuade it further and will not be able to pursue it in future. So, interest is very, very crucial in order to have a sustained career in an uh, organization or any kind of a job role. So, that is very, very important. So, self assessment can be done with the help of a um, with the help of a mentor or a professional support. So, this is with self assessment. The next important stage is exploration. When we talk about exploration, we should know about the various information that is available and how these individuals are going to use this information in their career. So, the uh, informational uh, information that is available are through various sources and these sources can be used in order to gather information related to a particular career. Uh, the, there are various uh, job portals available as to what are the specific kind of job roles that are in uh, available. There are various websites that are available to tell what are the jobs that are available in a particular field and also there are uh, many books and uh, reading materials available to gather this information related to job roles and related to careers. And apart from that, individuals can also attend seminars, workshops and conferences to identify the various job roles that are available related to a particular interest area or a particular qualification. Apart from that, there are job search resources and uh, there are uh, portals which are helping individuals to identify the various jobs that are available in the industry and uh, the search engine is um, formulated in such a way that based upon the needs of the individual, the job roles are available to them. So, uh, if we talk about a particular portal, then uh, the individuals can select based on their qualification, their years of experience, their uh, capabilities or the skill sets, they are able to identify or may based upon the geographical location uh, or which industry they would like to go into or what kind of a career they would like to select. Based upon that, job searches are available and this information is based on the current openings that are there in the market. So, this is with job search and they can also uh, individuals can list themselves in on various portals or various agencies which help them to identify or seek a job. So, signing up for job listed um, 
uh, portals can also help individual to identify a right job for themselves. Internship is also another way in which an individual can quickly identify what uh, whether he is able to uh, get involved in that particular job role or not. Internship is also a methodology through which an individual can identify his or her own uh, job related skills and whether he is capable and suitable to perform that particular job. So, internship or apprenticeship is a short term period in which an individual gets connected or involved with a particular organization or a job role and he or she performs the job or the task given to him during the same uh, original setup or the work environment and see whether he or she is comfortable to work in this particular work setup. So, internship provides an avenue not only for the individual to explore himself, but also helps the organization to identify the potential of that individual. This is a two way process wherein the organization as well as the individual can identify the suitability and the capabilities of an individual. So, internship can be used as an uh, avenue to identify the skill sets and identify the uh, lacunas of an individual where he or she needs to develop themselves. So, uh, apart from that volunteer is another way in which an individual can identify uh, the job op op opportunities and he or she can be involved with a particular kind of job role. Up after identifying and exploring these two things that is self assessment and exploration the most important thing that the individual needs to do is take the right action. So, what are the various action an individual needs to take in order to persuade his career. So, first and foremost thing he needs to make a decision as to what he is willing to do in his career or what is his career goals. So, most important goals are designed uh, by an individual by keeping in his own personal vision statement. An individual should be knowing what is he willing to do in his life, what are his core values and what is his vision in the long term. Where do he see himself 5 year, 10, ten year or 20 year down the line. So, recently when I was uh, looking into uh, the careers of uh, highly successful people, I came across one of the interviews of Tim Cook, where he was talking about his uh, career aspiration when he was doing his MBA. So, he was told to write an uh, essay about what he sees himself 25 years from now and what do he plan his career in the next 25 years. So, when he had written that he did not uh, had a very very clear vision of, of how he is going to be 25 years from then because uh, not only that he is going to evolve or change, but there are other things also that will change over a period of time. So, what he has written after uh, uh, looking into it say 20 years down the line as he said there were only few things that were as per the plan. So, initially around 18 to 24 months were as per what he has planned and after that many things have changed because of various reasons. So, the first and foremost thing that an individual needs to decide is to take a decision of what he wants his career to be or what he envisions himself as to be 5 years or 10 years down the line in terms of his own personal career at his personal aspirations. So, that decision is very very crucial and next comes to once he has decided that he now needs to start making a job search. So, as uh, told earlier he needs to enroll himself or he needs to enlist himself uh, on various uh, portals or various avenues where he can 
potentially search for a job related to his interest area. He needs to now formulate a resume and he should put forward all his strengths and capabilities, his competencies in the um, uh, resume and forward it to various potential employers. So, that is with resume and writing a suitable cover letter and he can also get involved uh, with people who can be helpful to him in identifying the right jobs. So, here he can use, he or she can use a network to identify the areas in which he can or the jobs in which he can persuade his career. So, networking is very, very important in today's world. So, there are lots of social media platforms that are available which helps in also identifying careers and job avenues. So, that can be also used for uh, identifying the jobs and interviewing is another uh, important process that an individual should undergo in order to get a job. So, he should prepare, he or she should prepare themselves for the interview process and for that first and foremost as told earlier, they should be able to identify their skills potentials and a, in a position to uh, communicate the same to the potential employers. So, they should be ready with the interviews and they should be able to identify their worth and the way in which they are going to negotiate on their salary. So, these are uh, the certain uh, things that we have dealt about with career planning. Now, let us quickly see what is succession planning. Succession planning is a process by which individuals are scanned to pass on to the leadership role within an organization. The process ensures that the business continues to, uh, to cooperate, uh, operate efficiently without the presence of people who were holding key positions as they must have uh, retired or resigned or would have uh, moved out of the organization. So, succession planning as the word says is the process of identifying those key individuals who can take up the key positions in an organization. So, when we talk about succession planning, we should understand that here we are focusing about the leadership roles. We are talking majorly about those key identified roles which are very crucial for the growth and sustainability of the organization. So, the entire process of succession planning is a ongoing process where it, the, it involves lots of stages. So, specifically uh, the management succession planning involves coaching and development of prospective successors or people within a firm or from outside take, to take up the key positions in an organization through an organized process of assessment and training. So, it ensures a smooth transition of power in the key re leadership positions. Um, if the successor of the uh, organization, the chosen person has been motivated and is also a uh, employee within the organization, then it helps in saving the cost and the extra time that will be involved in screening or scanning a candidate from another firm or from the job market. So, ultimately succession planning has to be done well in advance before we come across a situation where we fall into a position of vacancy in the leadership positions. So, organization should be prepared and should be doing a ongoing process of identifying their potential employees who can take up the key position in the organization. So, let us quickly see the process of succession planning. The first and foremost uh, step, this is a six step process and the first and foremost step is clarify the organization's vision. Unless and otherwise, the organization does not has a clear vision 
about where they want the organization to be 5 years, 10 years or 20 years down the line. This is not possible to identify the key roles unless the vision is not clear the key roles or the major contributors toward the growth of the organization cannot be assessed. So, the, the first and foremost step is to have a clear vision and identify who can be the key contributors towards achievement of this vision. Ultimately, the individuals who have a striving effort to attain their personal growth and the vision of the organization are the could potential employees for the key position and that can be only possible if the individual's vision matches with the vision of the organization and then develop the business strategies and the objectives. Every organization should have a clear business strategy and uh, they should be very clear on the objectives of every function uh, that is there in the organization. And in order to develop these business strategies, they should have a clear cut potential uh, and they should have a visionary uh, management leadership so that they can design the strategies for the growth of the organization. Once this is done, it is easy for the organization to identify the re leaders requirements. When we talk about requirements, there should be a clear cut idea about who are the employees who have got those capabilities or the potential to be a leader in the entire growth of the organization. So, this can be only possible if the vision and the strategies are clear because with the base of that it will be easy for the organization to identify the skills that are expected out of the leader to take the organization to achieve those vision. So, this is very very important and they should evaluate within the organization who are these potential uh, employees who can take up this position and what are the skill set of these candidates. In fact, during the entire process of uh, appraisal, it is very, very important that organization should ask few questions related to their career in uh, their evaluation process. They should understand what is the vision of an individual employee and whether he has got the potential to match up to the expectation of the organization, whether he is in a position to see himself on that leadership role and whether he has got those skills or should we develop those skills in him, should we train them for taking up those skill sets and develop them into their succession planning. So, this career growth can be only visualized if the employee is clear whether he has the potential to be in that leadership position. Next comes create a uh, development process. So, when we talk about once we have identified the potential employees, now comes the task of training the individual to take up that leadership position. This training and development happens as a two way process. One, there should be mentoring and counseling and of course, a lot of training is required in order to enhance the skills of the individual to take up the leadership position. So, that becomes a very, very crucial process and after that the entire transition should happen in a smooth and uh, efficient manner because when the transition happens, it uh, takes some time for the individual to get uh, settled with the role and start being productive. So, it is very important that the transition should be planned in a very clear manner. How uh, much time will the individual require to be into the position and take up the task for the growth of the organization. So, the entire implementation process will be successful only when the transition planning happens in the right manner. 
Now, let us quickly see what is the difference between career planning and succession planning. Career planning is the process through which an individual selects the goals of his work life and finds ways to reach the goal. So, when we talk about career planning, it is related to the individual and not about the organization. Career planning is about an individual's own beliefs and values and what he or she wants to reach in the uh, career and this is related to the work life of the individual and not about his personal life. Here career is related to what he would like to see himself in the job which he has taken or the career path he has chosen for himself or herself and whereas, succession planning is all about an individual employee who will be filling the spot when it comes to the leadership position and this can uh, be done once the position becomes vacant. So, this is in terms of planning from the organization's perspective whereas, this is from the point of an individual perspective and this is career management and this is succession management and uh, the employee holds a different position uh, in his or her work life. So, starting career from a uh, base level or from a particular designation to what are the various designations he or she has held in the entire career. So, it is related to that whereas, here we talk about one of few key positions like the CEOs, the CFOs or the general managers or the directors. So, these are some of the here we talk about an individual position which we are mainly focusing on and various individuals who have taken up those particular positions and uh, this is related to one's uh, own uh, success in the career and here we talk about the success of the organization based upon the individual who has been selected as the leader for that organization. So, let us just quickly wrap up on how succession planning and talent management is going to be responsible for the growth and success of any organization. So, talent management uh, addresses the competency gaps that are uh, required or critical for the growth of the organization and the entire process of talent management is to attract, acquire, develop and retain the quality talent for the organization. Whereas, succession planning is proactive and a systematic process where an organization identifies those positions considered to be the core of the organization and then create a strategic plan to fill those positions with qualified and capable employees. The entire st succession strategy revolves around uh, the strategic plan, the workforce demographies and the promotional readiness and the risk uh, involved in retain uh, the risk uh, involved with retention and vacancy position in the organization. So, the entire organization's growth depends on how capable the organization is in terms of its succession planning. So, hope uh, the session today was useful to you and you have got a clear idea about what is career planning and what is succession planning. Thank you.